I'm going to talk about something today that is contagious. And it is so contagious, I do not want you to get infected. Let me read to you first from Proverbs 22, verse 25. Bad temper is contagious. Don't get infected. Well, we all know people that can be difficult to deal with, sometimes extremely difficult. Sometimes people think that the hardest thing in life is dealing with difficult people. When others are unkind to you, and they will be at times, you may be tempted to strike back, uh, either verbally or in some other way. But I ask you, my friend, to resist that temptation. Instead, remember that God will deal with people's behavior in God's own way. Even though sometimes you will want to volunteer to help God to straighten other people out, God doesn't need your help. When other people behave in a cruel way, foolishly or impulsively, uh, as they will from time to time. There's no way to avoid it. It is easy to let their attitudes absolutely infect us. And when it infects us, we get sick. We not only get sick in our day, but sometimes it can take a, a week or a month out of our lives in feeling bad. Keep your temper in check. Don't respond in kind. Instead, speak up for yourself as politely as you possibly can and walk away. Let it go. Let it go. And do your best to forgive everyone as quickly as you can. Leave the rest up to God. Remember, when you forgive others, you really are forgiving yourself. Forgiveness means self-release. You don't hold the poison inside of you any longer. Phillips Brooks said, Bear with the faults of others as you would have them bear with yours. Just let yourself off the hook and let others off the hook and you'll have a better life. God bless.